So today I'm gonna give you guys four things to look out for when dating in Mexico. This is something that you guys requested. So let's get into it. Number one is STDs. This is not just a Mexican thing, okay? I wanna make this very clear. This is a whole global thing, but there's some things that have bigger consequences or have more of an impact here when it comes to STDs because a lot of people cannot afford STD tests. Now, not a lot of dudes are smarter than me. They run with their emotions. They think with this head down here and not their head up here, okay? And they are not getting tested themselves. Most of you probably don't even care. You're probably watching the list and like, I don't care. I just use PrEP or I pull out. And you don't know about the STDs. You can get skin to skin. You don't know that some of these STDs don't even show any symptoms. So you're carrying around these diseases and viruses and don't even know it. And you're sharing it to other people. This is my tip for you. When you come here, especially if you want to do... Some of these beautiful ladies here, you make sure that you are either with... I know a lot of you guys think you're safe because you're wearing a protection, but you got to realize no one wears protection when they're... You know what I mean? They don't... Stop lying. When you eat the cakes, you ain't wearing protection. When you eat the cakes in front of her, you ain't wearing protection. And y'all like, oh, we're, we're practicing safe thing, but you're not. And most of you guys can get oral uh, herpes. My advice to you is to go to a clinic, get yourself tested, work out what you have first, and then if you're going to uh, have fun and date some of these ladies, you make sure you get to know them first a little bit, you know, see how their lifestyle is, that they're always out there doing things because, as, as again, in Play the Karma, for example, there's a lot of escorts, and a lot of these escorts do have herpes simplex 1 and herpes simplex 2. So you make sure you take them to a clinic and get them tested and you read the paper results yourself. A lot of these people also get tested and they rely on their doctor to give them their results back. But this is the thing, plot twist. The STD panel does not include herpes simplex 1, IgG, IgM, and herpes simplex 2, IgG, and IgM. So you make sure you take these people to a clinic, get tested together, and get herpes simplex 1 and 2, IgM, and IgG. IgM, if it's positive in IgM, that means you are active with the virus and you can pass it to someone. Um, and if it's a bigger risk, and if you're IgG, it means you've been in contact with the virus and it's in your system. The gag is you don't know when you're shedding. So you, when you're shedding, you can pass it on to someone. So you just got to inform the person, hey, this is what I have. There's pills that you can take to reduce it. You can always wear condoms, etc. And that's another thing. Always wear condoms if you're not going to get tested and just don't do oral. And then you're safe. Let me correct myself. It's a lower risk because if you're doing back shots and they have their herpes base on a certain area, then that means you can get it in your staircase, if you know what I mean. I'm speaking in code. But yeah, you can get it there too, you know? But that's just a big thing here. A lot of people just seem to not be able to afford to get these tests because the tests are a bit expensive. I paid over, I remember, almost $300 once on a in a laboratory. Then I found a clinic and it was like a 100 something dollars to get everything done. So everything is different. If you have insurance, it might be different. So... Yeah, that's what I always do. I either, if they don't get tested, I don't do anything with them. And if I really want it, I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll pay for your test. And, you know, it depends what mood I'm in. I, I've been celibate for like almost a year now. So I've just been sticking and doing it like that because it's a lot more safer, especially when you're traveling overseas and stuff, not everyone can afford this test. And that's the same in the US. There's a lot of women and men still don't want to pay $80. And it's even cheaper over there. A lot of them don't want to pay $80 for a test and they get tested once a year. But they have no problem paying for all this alcohol. It's, uh, it's just so funny, bro. But anyway, the second thing that you need to look out for when dating is that you might be used for money. Um, there are a lot of people that come to Mexico for a better life, especially play to Carmen, people in like Colombia, etc. Because of the, I guess, tourists and you can make a lot of money here in Mexico. And it's a, a step 
closer to USA. You know, a lot of these people do want to get to USA. And you'll be surprised how some people are not dating you for you, but dating you for the lifestyle that you can provide for them. So, yeah, that's another thing to look out for. Number three is very rare. It doesn't usually happen a lot, but be careful of meeting people in private areas and meet them in public areas because there is a possibility of getting robbed. So for example, my friend, he met a guy online and went out to a cafe, they're talking, etc. He ended up getting into like an isolated place where there wasn't a lot of people around and he uh, set him up. Two other guys came and they told him, go to the bank, let's pour your money, etc. So then that's what happened. They went to an ATM, pulled all his money and they robbed him. So that was a really sad situation for him. It's rare, but you know, it's, it's good to learn some form of fighting skills and stuff like that to be able to defend yourself. But if a person has a weapon and you don't want to lose your life, then she, you do what you can do, you know? Um, I'm surprised they didn't go to like an ATM with a camera and stuff. So if that does happen to you, try to go to like a more established bank because at least they have security cameras there and you might have some form of insurance or some way to, you know, get your money back because at least you have those people now faces on camera. So try to go to those ATMs if that ever, ever happens to you. And another good tip that I can give you guys is before meeting them, try to get all their social medias. Get their Facebooks, get their Instagrams, get whatever they have. If they've got TikTok, see if they got TikTok. I'm not saying that these people won't rob you. It's just the chance is less because you can see their Instagram. You can see they got a lot of photos tagged in family pictures, in Facebook photos, etc. So the chances are a lot more less because if someone plans to rob you, they're not going to give you their social media platforms so try to get that from them before meeting up with them in person but it's rare i've dated so many people met so many people online and it has never happened to me so yeah now the fourth one oh my god when you're dating these beautiful ladies and men in Je uh, mexico green card there are people that don't want you for you and they want you because you can provide again a better life in the usa and that's a green card and believe it or not even though i'm not american that happened to me so i'm going to share a story with you okay so i went to Zacatecas, was talking to this beautiful instagram model on instagram and <laughs> yeah, so we talking and stuff and I'm like, yeah, I might come visit you with Zacatecas. And honestly, I thought it was just going to be like some romantic fun. I didn't expect anything more from it. But this person treated me so well when I was there, man. Like it was weird. At first, I thought I didn't have a chance. I was like putting my hand around them. They're not reciprocating at first i'm like okay it ain't gonna work this ain't happening next thing you know they're like oh let's go to my place and i'm like yeah i'm like huh i'm like okay cool we went to like it was so cool we went to the hood in Zacatecas, and they took me to their place and they showed me where they live and basically this person had the master bedroom and the whole family was living with them and this person was taking care of their family and I was so like wow my heart melted a bit like wow so you taking care of your family and stuff like that like you a real good person so this person is very uh I guess family orientated and you know introduced me to their sisters and stuff like that so it was really cool next thing you know this person is packing their bags up and I'm like oh they must be going to sleep at a friend's house or something this person invited themselves back to my Airbnb with their bag of things. Funny as hell. So we end up um, sleeping in the same bed. Next thing you know, there's kisses and all that stuff. And I'm not going to go into detail, but it was cute. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't expecting that because I was like, oh, wasn't reciprocating the same energy back um, when they were giving me a little tour around their town. So... Yeah, um, they end up inviting me to their <laughs> auntie's funeral, man. Yo, their auntie's funeral. The hell? 
They took me to their gym. Let me have breakfast with their family. Like, this person was like, you know, was doing... If, it, if I feel like if you just a hookup, I'm not going to do all that. You know, you're not going to see my family, see my friends, none of that stuff. This was the complete opposite. So I'm just like, okay, so I started to like this person because this person's family orientated. They, they're working, doing well, taking care of their family. They took me to their damn auntie's funeral and it was just treating me so well, man. <laughs> So, we at the Airbnb, and there's a picture of the a map of the world, and I point to Australia. Ah, that's where I'm from. And they're like, their face, bro, their face was like, what? You're from Australia? Jeez, right? Like I could just tell something was off, and this was on the last day as well. So I'm just like, hmm, that's odd. Next thing you know, they promised to come visit me and play in the common, etc. And I'm like, yeah, let me know. I'll buy you a ticket. Damn, you can come visit me because I just really like this person's hospitality. This person treated me well. We got along so well. Boom. Ghosts vanish. Disappears. I never hear from this person ever Again, if I did, it's very, very small, small talk. And when I confronted the person, I got my friend to write in Spanish because this person's English is not the best. So I got my friend and my Spanish is not the best. So I'm like, okay, I need this to be good and correct. Can you write me, like, write all this? So we write like this paragraph with a few questions in it, send it to the person. And they send me like a one sentence. That's not what happened, but didn't answer any of my questions. Was being very cold, distant, and not answering any of my questions. So I was like, okay, bye. I told them, bye. I don't have time for this. You playing games. You thought I was American. That's what you thought. You thought I was American, and you thought you could get a green card off me. I could be wrong, man. I could be absolutely wrong. Let me know in the comments section below right now. But it happens. People will try to use you for a green card. Okay? Now saying that, there are so many beautiful, handsome, guapo, guapas, I don't know, Mexicans here. And there's so many amazing people here that, you know, th those things... It's rare, like it does happen, but I'm, like I'm, you guys are just focusing, you know, you want to know the risk. You're not telling me what's the good part about it. And the good part about it that a lot of Mexicans are very family orientated. And when they like you, you, they go hard for you, okay? Once you get with someone who's Spanish, you vanish. No one hears from you again because they got you all wrapped up around them. They take care of you. Like if you're a woman and you're dating a Spanish man... They're all about uh, being the provider, taking care of you, etc. If you meet a woman, not all of them, but some of them expect you to, you know, take care of them, etc. Especially if you're going to be in a relationship. So they kind of have traditional values here. And some, of course, do have like the American value of let's split the bill in half and, um, you know, I can be in control too. You know what I mean? No, um, not everyone is exactly traditional, but a lot of them are. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Ask me any questions in the comment section below. And I'll see you in another video. Peace.